Okay. And two gram. This is average sodium intake for people who live in section of Africa. Five gram. This is the target level of sodium intake. Uh, it's proposed by WHO. And the red and blue line is the level proposed by the Japanese government. Yes. Then I'd like to ask it, how much sodium do the Japanese intake actually? Yes, we intake far more than any proposed target level. Yes, we know, you know, and I know that it's very easy for us to intake sodium a lot, you know? That's why if we feel the food is very tasteless, we immediately add more flavor. So we can add salt, sugar, and some seasoning if, if they want. The taste and nutrition of food materials are two sides of the same coin. Therefore, we want more taste, we want to eat more tasty food, we also intake more nutrition. But the line of satisfaction is not always within the boundary of what is healthy for us. What should we do to solve this issue? One solution is cut off this chain and separate taste from nutrition. If you use ghost taste, which is a non-existent material, but perceived, we increase only the taste without increasing the nutrition level over harmful line. Um, can we do such a thing? Then I noticed the structure of the taste reception. If I can stimulate the cell without using any material, we, uh, we, can, uh, sorry, we are able to perceive taste. So I utilize electricity. Light bulb will flash when electricity follows, like this. When electricity falls through our thumb, we can feel the taste. In addition, we can alter the taste of food without changing the food's feature. So I developed this electric fork. <laughs> Sorry, it's not chopstick. So we don't need to implant electrodes into our mouth, into our tongue, because fortunately we have cultures that use that using metallic utensils at the diner. The effect of electricity is very interesting. Because for example, when we turn off the cathode current, we actually able to feel the taste become more stronger. And we can use electricity to enhance the taste of food. And of course, we can also create the taste. Then I have a great opportunity to open this restaurant. Sorry, only two days. And the name, No Salt Restaurant. It's the photo I show you. It's a no sort of course proposed by cooking specialists. So that is very healthy. It's very healthy, but a bit tasteless. Until we apply ghost taste using this fork. We had an opportunity to try my device with people who were reducing salt in their diet. I felt very happy when I noticed them enjoying this course. This approach to changing the food culture using electric taste is spreading. For example, Dr. Nimesha at NUS, Dr. Koike at Hosei University, 
and Dr. Aoyama at Osaka University. They are fellow researchers exploring the future of electric taste, I think. In the future, I want my device, and it's part of different collaborations to reach our everyday diners, you and you and you, and have ghost taste support our tidy wellness and happiness. That's all, thank you.